So, as promised, um, let me bend your ear for a moment about some of the things that I think could improve this car. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos and watched more than about two seconds of them, I'll probably have managed to cram into that uh, the exciting backstory that I've had three Skodas, which I've liked very much, two Superbs and an Octavia, all in the last probably five, five years or so, maybe six years. Um, and those cars had things on them that were really small, clearly very cheap to do, I would think, from a manufacturer's point of view. I mean, Skoda's not um, a premium brand like a BMW, I guess, so it's got to be cheaper, I imagine and yet would make all the difference to the sort of day-to-day -day Mr. Commuter type experience of this car. Uh, so the first one is, and I don't know why all makes don't do it, I can't believe Skoda have got any rights particularly over it and other manufacturers haven't, but when you switch the car off there's a little message that comes up in the sat nav screen saying don't forget your phone and you know what that saved me from forgetting my phone probably 50 or 60 times in a year um, and you can guarantee that when I get out of this car um, if my head wasn't screwed on I'd leave it in here. So all it needs really is a little message programmed in to go take your phone with you, please take your phone with you when you uh, when you leave the car. So that's the first thing, really very easy. The second thing is as you'll have seen I still haven't got a bag hook in the boot. Despite the book adding insult to injury and saying that there is one, I clearly I can't find one. So why isn't there a bag hook? So again, the Skoda, all those Skodas had at least two bag hooks in the boot that folded out and you hang your shopping on. Brilliant, easy, simple. The other thing they had was uh, the boot light was actually a rechargeable torch. And I know that sounds a bit nap and a bit Halfords and a bit Mickey Mouse, but boy, again, the amount of times in the winter when you go, uh, you know, you, okay, you've got a torch in your phone nowadays, uh, but I've used those torches on many occasions and they've been really useful. The Superbs, obviously, well, well, publicised, had an umbrella tucked into one of the door shuts. A really good quality umbrella as well to replace them if you lose them is about 50 or 60 quid so they're a properly decent umbrella um, that's great and really useful um, and the two last things were the little the little plastic clip which must cost all of about 20p that goes in the windscreen i know volvos uh, some volvos have these as well but you put your little parking ticket behind i mean how hard is that to do it's not is it so um, it's those sort of little things that are missing in this car. Um, the Octavia, which was the most recent, I think, the newest of those cars, had a lovely little ice scraper inside the fuel filler cap. Now again, uh, why haven't all cars got that? Why isn't that the law that all cars have that? It was brilliant. I mean, it, again, it was probably a quid's worth of plastic in that. And, I used it regularly, you know, I live in Britain, so boy, and plenty of times I had a frosty windscreen. Um, so it's those things, on the Audis, uh, the BMWs, they just don't seem to provide, unless of course you <coughs> spend about another thousand quid on the winter pack, or the, the bag hook pack, or the ice scraper in the fuel filler cap pack. Um, and it's, it's places like that that's going to score because actually on a day-to-day -day basis it isn't the 0 to 60 times that matter, it isn't you know the uh, dynamic suspension and the steering feedback, it's actually whether you've got your scraper to scrape the ice out of your car and whether you can hang your shopping in the boot without it tipping all over the place. So it's those sort of things I guess that seem lacking on this car. So if you look at my verdict, uh, my rambling verdict, maybe I will do an edited version of that because my son's probably right. It's going to bore you to death. But anyway, 
That's a great recommendation, I know. Have a look at it. Will I miss this car when it goes back? You'll have to read that to find out. So anyway, that's it for today. Hope to see you soon. I've got lots more videos coming up. Please subscribe. My 10 subscribers um, are lonely and probably will have unsubscribed by the time I've looked, out, looked back at them. So, you know, join the club, press the button. It's easy to do, hit the bell, and then you'll be first to hear about all the other videos that I've got coming down the tracks. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon.